For silver bullets, between 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock in the morning, New York local time, uh, we have a fair value gap there. After hitting an order block and fair value gap there, we rally higher, trade back down in, silver bullet run for relative equal highs. So buying here and getting out there, just at that high here, that's enough for a trade. You don't even have to hold on to any of this up here. In the PM session, silver bullet, same idea, just in reverse. Uh, we had consolidation, so you, when you take a silver bullet, if you're seeing consolidation like this, have this in your notes. Wait for displacement. We see that here, very energetic drop. Fair value gap, sell short there, and again, reach for five handles minimum. And if we had this area down here for a buy side, it will many times want to offer a redelivery to that as well because every old liquidity pool acts like an inefficiency. It'll many times revisit it and act as the opposite. So if we were seeing buy side as a draw here, the algorithm will refer back to this area here and draw back down into it. But it has to be some measure of why it was drawn to for buy side. It, it's not just simply resistance, resistance, broken turn support. Because notice it didn't do anything for support. So I've already canceled that idea. You already think, oh, he's just talking about support and resistance. No. <laughs> There's a manner of taking this information and really understanding what would be support to buy or a target for a draw on liquidity.